We all enjoying the singing in stereo, are we? Good. Ah, none of those masks are thirsty work. Let's pause for a moment of prayer, shall we? Father God, we've got uh, so much to be thankful for. Be our comfort, be our shelter, be our strength, we pray. We continue to lift up uh, Les before you, Lord. Thank you that he's uh, going well and leg is healing nicely. And Father, we just remember them in prayer. And uh, a number of their friends are struggling with different illnesses as well, and they're certainly on their mind. Father God, we continue to lift up Graham. Father God, continue to bless uh, him, and uh, thank you for some improvements we're seeing there around the cancer treatment and what they're trying to address and, and achieve. And Father God, so we just pray for continued health and healing, and as treatments are done, tests are done, uh, scans and chemo and all the things that uh, has to go through. And so be with him and Janet, we pray. Thank you he's able to be at home for a little while, Lord God, and back and forth to hospitals and what appointment today. And so, Father God, we just pray that you give them a greater measure of your peace and understanding and healing, Father, we pray. Fathers that may have concerns or worries, Father God, as a new year approaches and, and uh, school looms and work and other pressures and COVID virus and whatever that happens there, Father God, we just thank you that we can rest in you. You are our hope. You are our strength. And Father God, as we gather this morning, Lord, we want to hear from your word because everybody matters. Everybody matters to you and everybody should matter to us, Father God, that we can connect with people along the crossroads of life. In Jesus' name, amen. So our theme this year is everybody matters. So what does that mean? Well, it means we want to create a church culture that draws people in, not one that pushes people away. We want to create different circles and different connection points are happening now and lasting beyond this year and into the future. We want you to find your place in God's family. Let us be innovative. Let us be creative. Let us find our circles of connection. Maybe you like sewing. Maybe you like studying God's word. Maybe you like barbecuing. Amen. Maybe you like eating. I don't know. But let us find connection points as a church community and welcome people in. It's about our spiritual health and growth as well as our church's physical health and growth because everybody can find their place in God's family. Some familiar verses maybe to you from Acts chapter 2. We see the early church there. Reading from verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer, and we've done that here today. Everyone was filled with awe, and many wonders and signs were performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to one another who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God, enjoying the favour of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. <clears throat> Three connection points for us this morning. We will be a devoted church. We will be a generous church. We will boldly share the love of Jesus. We will be a devoted church as we continue to launch out into this new year. We read in Acts 2, 42, 43, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to the fellowship, breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. That will be our focus. We will be a devoted church community. 
focused on God's word, focused on one, one another. What will be your focus? What will you give your energy to? We will make sure our message continues to be clear. We will make sure that as a church community, our door is always open to those who are seeking answers. <coughs> to those who have questions about life and faith. For you who have journeyed with Jesus for some time, our door is open. Weekly Bible study groups, life-giving messages, emails, devotions, media, creativity. That's what we'll be about. Friends, let us see the miraculous. Let us see the hand of God at work once again. Let us have an encounter with Him. Let us see our miracle-working God continue to move and to act on people's lives. What is your hope? What is your prayer? What is your desire? What will your focus be? Come and be part of his church. We will be a generous church. Thank you. Thank you. This is part of our DNA. You are generous people. Operation Christmas Child, Mission Supported, Chaplaincy, Free Food Hampers, a pair of work boots for a single mum, groceries, support, care, a scooter for a young boy, a, a lady towards the end of last year, escape, escape domestic violence and she's finally got a home and she was able to pay for most of her furniture to come out of storage, but a request came. We paid for the rest of her furniture to come out of storage so she could be in that house and give her children a little bit of a Christmas because of your generosity, because you gave and you can. You may not hear it all, but I'll fill you in when I can about the reach we have across this community because we are willing to care, we're willing to help. If you've got a friend or a neighbour who's struggling, you yourself, if you have a need, we will do what we can because every body matters. We are here to help. We mightn't be able to do everything, but praise God, we can do something. In verse 44 and 45, all the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had a need. That's powerful. And with great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we will continue to testify that Jesus is the way, that Jesus is the truth, that Jesus is the life. And God's grace was so powerfully at work in all of them that there were no needy persons among them. If you have a need, I pray you have the courage to say, hey, I need a bit of a hand. Hey, I need some help with this. Hey, can you refer me to this person or that? Or I've got this struggle. I've got this need. I pray that you would have the courage to ask if that was you. I wonder who will help this year. I wonder what needs there will be this year. I wonder whose story will be different because of us. Because we are going to be his church again. I wonder whose story will be different because we cared and we listened and we met a need. We will be devoted, we will be generous because everyone matters and everybody needs to find their place in God's family and we have room for you. We have room for you. Our third connection point today is we will boldly share the love of Jesus. This never changes, this never stops, this never ends. The gospel transforms lives. The gospel has transformed you. A picture of the early church is a powerful one in the book of Acts there. They ate 
together, they shared life, they shared the word, they shared time, they, they cared and helped, they respect, were respected by all the people. And in verse 47, we read, And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. The Lord added to their number daily. Those who were finding a transformation, a life, a faith, a hope in Jesus Christ. Just imagine, seven people a week. Could that be a reality? Could it be possible? We must create connection points and circles across our church. Entry points for people to come in. And we must continue to faithfully proclaim the message of Jesus who transforms lives. Because that is why you are here. We will be devoted. We will be generous. We will continue to proclaim the message of Jesus Christ who has come to save. Up on the screen there, we don't just go to church, for we are the church. Alive and active in this community, reaching out beyond these walls. We will be his fully devoted followers. Active beyond these walls. Not expecting it to just be about what I'm doing, but to, to be about what we can do. And what you can do. Two years ago, Nola and I said yes to the call of God on our life to come and share in ministry with you. Enjoying the ride, friends? <laughs> and that continues beyond today. As we faithfully hear the call of God. As we faithfully serve. As we faithfully care. As we faithfully walk the road together, because every body matters. Come. Come as you are. Come as you are. Hurts, struggles, joys, needs, dysfunction, anyone? No? Okay. Fear, questions. Come. Come as you are. Let's do life and faith together again this year, 2021. Maybe for some of you it always seems like it's about June, but no, it's, it's only January. There'll be some struggles, no doubt. There'll be some faith stretching times, no doubt. There'll be some tears and some laughter for sure. But we don't walk alone. Friends, as this year takes shape, will you join with me in creating some God stories, some good news stories once again? Because it's about everybody. It's about everybody and everyone. Who we meet on the roads of life. Who we invite along to an event or a church service or a ministry or a mission. Or a project? Who will we include? Who will we reach out to? Who are we praying for? Who are we hoping for? God loved the world so much that He didn't shout His love from heaven, but He showed His love on earth in the form of His Son, Jesus Christ. God became one of us in the person of Jesus who knew no sin. Let us be devoted. Let us be generous. Let us continue to proclaim the message of hope that comes through Jesus Christ who transforms lives. Come, come as you are. Find your circles of connection. Be his hands and feet. Because it's about every body. I saw this as I finished this morning. 
It's been doing the rounds on social media. Anyway, this year I want to be more like Jesus. I thought this is a good start. Hang out with sinners, upset religious people, tell stories that make people think, choose unpopular friends, be kind, loving and merciful, take naps on boats. Yes, that was the one. <laughs> Make this year count. Make every day count. May we honour him and continue to serve him as we push out into this new year. I look forward to ministering with you once again. God bless. Amen.